This is Bistook with Tanya, brought to you by Wiz Digital Academy, a show for business athletes and online bosses who are ready to take up stage. Hello and welcome to Bistook with Tanya. Now, um, depending on when you're watching it, first of all, hope you had an amazing festive season um with your family especially the christmas so compliments of the season i've kind of been missing in action if you're watching and you're coming from my email list or something of the sort i've uh, yeah i kind of went quiet um there's a lot happening in the back end um, a lot of exciting news uh business-wise as well as a lot of new directions new projects that we're thinking of attempting internally so that has been taking a lot of my time so to if you are here it's your first time you barely know me i'm tanya i head a marketing agency i'm a business strategist and marketing strategist and i work with smbs tech startups as well as consulting firms to amplify their marketing message to attract clients on social media and digitally and I also run a coaching academy which is part of the company so on this note I wanted to have a quick discussions around trends that I think are going to take off from next year <clears throat> whether it is in the basics of consulting, in the basis of tech startups and stuff like that, as well as coaching and consulting. So I want to share some five, around five trends that I've noted that are going to take off and that uh, you should be on the lookout for and that you could maybe implement. So these are marketing trends. These are um, market trends that you will note and that you want to take into account as you are working into this new year for your business. Now, number one, in the first place, oh, and before we start, like, if this is your first time, if you are looking to learn more clients as a coach consultant, I will highly suggest that you check out um, our free course down here, the link will be there, or you take a look at the content ecosystem if you're ready for a system that will be getting you clients online with ease. You want to take a look into that. It's not a free course, but more of an oversight of how we work. So if you can reverse engineering on your own, good for you. You do it on your own. And if you want a lot of support, you will be able to book a consultation with myself or a member of my team to speak with you and yeah coach tech startup sus yeah you know what to do now um first one one thing that i predict for 2023 is that ads are definitely gonna get cheaper here's the thing because of the uncertainty around um what's happening next year and everything in true human nature, people are pulling money out of marketing. They are pulling money out of their lead generation activities and everything like that and focusing on what worked before. So a lot of people will, will start increasing, increasingly hiring FDRs, um, deploying ABM strategies to get more clients and like many places linkedin face um linkedin facebook ads and all these ad platforms are market places and if supply is high and demand low what happens is the price will get down so i suspect that in the year 2023 2023 uh cost of acquisition will drastically go down and people will be able to acquire clients with a lot less the second trend that i am noticing is a move towards hybrid now if you a uh, hybrid businesses hybrid services this is especially for people that are in the coaching consulting space um if you look at my business it's more often hybrid we have the coaching side and we have the consulting side and this was something that I implemented in 2022 because 
I had noted that the industry was changing and that I needed to adapt to a model that would work in the long run in the time that times that we're heading into. So even now, like this is not a complete model that the business is going to be. It's definitely evolving and we are introducing this, the segments, the plans into diff by different time frames. But businesses that will adopt a hybrid approach to doing business will survive and those that don't will die. So what I mean, if you are a coach, perhaps consider um, implementing a level of done for you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do the done for you, but think of how you could implement that. Could it be you um, adding a SaaS product into your business that will support your clients in another manner that adds value? Or could it be you doing a, a, a bit of done for you, which we do with the coaching as well, we implement that oh what else could you do another thing is you are gonna need more than one product in your product suite you are going to want to have things that complement each other and i'm seeing that also in the financial sector fintech space SaaS space you need more than just one thing you need to have things that are integrative and that people can feel that they can get back for the money because I guarantee you right now, if you are you have a SaaS offer, people will be looking at the features and comparing it to others and see which is the one that they can use for both. So you wanna take that into account. So second one is a hybrid. Third one is that content marketing is definitely where it's going to be at because businesses are going to be a lot more cautious about procurement about doing things and because a lot of the older generation are living in the marketplace and we're finding a lot more millennials and gen z's in positions of power and these are buyers that typically wants to do a lot of the education the self-education on their own and then finally make a decision when they are ready and when they have consumed enough and understand what you do and your offer and how you can help them content marketing is definitely definitely good easier to stay and agencies that will be offering those services will definitely see an influx of requests for guidance and assistance from more corporate clients for more established businesses because a lot of them would not have capacity for that and number four um i'm definitely seeing um the b2b space branching a lot more into influencer marketing we have seen it in the b2b b2c space and everything whereas now b2c will be scaling back a little bit on that because, uh, because obviously where does it hit the most is mostly workers and everything that are feeling the pinch of the possible recessions, people losing the jobs and stuff. So most B2C brands will want to be cautious about exerting themselves financially and having brand awareness campaigns such, a, such as working with influencers. But B2B will definitely be tapping into the B2C, especially if you are a creator into the influencer space excuse me i didn't complete my sentence but they will be tapping into that because especially if you're an influencer you're a content creator who maybe have has a nine to five that will attract a lot of the people that they would be interested in yeah i'm seeing a lot more b2b brands like your softwares and everything approach and companies approach creators because let's say you're a nine to fiver and you create content around something that you do let's say you you create vlogs around you being an investment banker or you being a realtor or something like that and you probably attract people interested in that i'm seeing more brands that will be affiliated to that to those industries approach more of those creators to collaborate and for them to sponsor so there's definitely going to be a lot more of that. 
there's going to be a lot more collaboration in terms of brands hiring influencers as contractors or as a sponsor thing for them to work within the company. If let's say you're a podcaster or an, uh, somebody that creates thoughtful content on social media, I'm seeing a lot more of that happening with them hiring these people to create content for them under their brand. So that's definitely exciting for the creators economy and for a lot of content creators. And then number five. We will be back shortly with your episode. Right now, let's hear a quick word from today's episode sponsor. Are you looking for a simple way to start making sales? Then you'll want to check out our coaching program, Easy Sales Blueprint. Finally, an easy way to sell your program or service. Discover the simple steps to creating a lucrative coaching or consulting business. The Easy Sales Blueprint gives you a step-by-step -step method to easily make more sales without spending all day on social media, cold outreach, and hitting the door to try a good old-fashioned door-to-door sales system. Apply today by heading to tiny.cc slash get more sales to find out how we can help you achieve online sales success. If number five is more of the content, the coaching consulting space, I'm seeing a lot of diversification. People are going to want to diversify, to change up to how they do business, how they drive business, their funnels, um, a lot more, there will be less free content available. A lot of people will be less doing less free content in terms of customer acquisition and people are going to look at how to do a lot more paid um, acquisition. So more focus on acquiring customers than acquiring um, subscribers or something of the sort like email list subscribers and everything so there's going to be a focus on that less of the others so and least that i forget um another prediction that i'm looking into and i think is going to happen with the increased rate of retrenchment happening around the world um, a lot of people losing their jobs. You will also see a, a lot of people exit corporate at this point and look at other opportunities, the, especially if you're in the coaching space and you maybe teach people how to start a business or maybe you have courses and everything. I think there is about to be an increased demand for those particular offers because there will be a lot of people looking for ways to start on their own to branch out on their own start consulting businesses start coaching businesses start a course business start a something that will uh, become a freelancer how to become a freelancer a lot of people will be looking at those options and if that is something that you are in you are going to want to double down on that and a bonus trend is i see a lot more growth happening a lot more pe people try starting to create content outside of the social media bubble and i mean i don't know about you uh, as you're watching this but i started on facebook and instagram and of course i'm still leveraging these platforms to create a business but there is something there's something i've been consistent about is building outside of social media creating a digital presence outside of social media. I mean, that is also something that I, I completely always share in um, my framework, the content marketing ecosystem playbook of building outside of social media and having an, an ecosystem for your content that is not reliant on a single platform. And I'm seeing a lot of increased demand of these kind of things of people needing assistance with those kind of um, support. So if you offer a, business, a service around that kind of support, you're about to be, get hit with quite a lot of demand, but also a lot of people now will be consuming a lot more content like I shared previously to establish compatibility. So 
you will want to create content that is evergreen so that it works for you and has a longer shelf life and that is what is going to help you build your business especially since people will not consume a lot more before making a purchasing decision or being ready to work with you so definitely that also um a lot of people will first try to self-educate so try to see where do people go for self-education you pro you probably watching or listening to this in one of those platforms that people go for self-education which should be youtube podcasts and everything and also if you have the capacity books people are often more like the minute they want to learn about something most people turn towards amazon to buy a book or turn towards youtube or podcast to get insight on certain topics so there is going to be an increased demand from that because people are not just going to be throwing money at coaches or consultants or stuff like that so if you can implement that in the form of your content ecosystem that we teach and drive that flower wheel in that manner you are going to survive this period of time so on this note that's what i wanted to share i think that was the bonus point. So definitely these are exciting times um these are predictions, these are trends that I have noted and that I think are going to come into full play in 2023. Some might not, some may, but I'm really definitely noting, especially the one with hybrid, uh, with more paid um, acquisition, you know, uh, uh, having a focus on acquiring customers more than acquiring free subscribers and free communities. We're already seeing a lot of free communities in the online space die. So, that is definitely something. So if you also want to look into ads, yeah. And now maybe the time you may be starting to think about adding ads because it will be cheaper for customer acquisition. And of course, if you combine it with the other one where you acquire customers instead of free of um, subscribers only, that could work out for you in the long run. So that those are my predictions of course feel free to share what you think would happen in the comment if you are listening to this on the podcast please follow if you're listening to this on apple podcast please leave us a review check out other episodes and subscribe follow the podcast like share with somebody and i would really ask that you share with somebody um these episodes because these are these are these are interesting conversations and i hope to bring more of this in 2023 so on this note i'm gonna leave you here check out any of the previous videos previous podcast episodes and tell me in the comments what you think will be happening in 2023 for the business space and what are the changes that you think you seem excited about Stay tuned as well because I'll be making an announcement soon about a, a really interesting and exciting project I'm working on and all in good time I will share it and I hope that you will go on that journey with me as well. On this note, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.